sixth, and uh, we got a bunch more fish. <laughs> this time they came in alive. They're alive this time, yeah. <laughs> Last week we uh, had some delays, but actually the fish didn't come in terrible, but not okay. great. Um, first up, we got some discus. Fresh Cute discus. Cute little guy. Some blue turquoise. Another one. Blue diamond. Look a lot better than last week. <laughs> Not the wholesaler's fault. But no, they got <laughs> lost. They <laughs> yeah, they got problem. lost, unfortunately. Uh, this is... I... He's hiding. Anyways, Some there's another guy. <laughs> there's another discus. <laughs> I think that was a red melon, but he had... He wanted to come below the line. Yeah. Uh, lots of community fish this week because we got drained the last couple weeks. Uh, Port Chop Rasboros, really cool looking guys. When they're not stressed out, they have a really nice gold, like metallic body that reflects off the light real well. Nice. Very similar to the Port or to the uh, Harley Quinn. Oh, okay. Kind of a longer body though. Uh, good old Rainbow Sharks. Oh, good LG eaters. Good for a uh, you know, community tank, larger community tank. Good. The uh, Albino Brothers. Hmm. Excellent. Another discus. Oh, this one looks good. Nice blue diamond. Blue diamond. Even stressed out, he looks nice. Uh, Snow White. Little guy. Good, good breakup, you know, of, of color when you have a bunch of super vibrant. Right. Fish. That's another one. That guy's feisty. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the last of the snow whites. Oh. There he is. <laughs> This uh, tiger fish. This guy's like three inches and he's got teeth already. It's insane. Um, yeah, there you go. Look at that mouth. <laughs> so, pretty cool fish. Not like a lot of tiger fish, but uh, the Vitatus. They get nice stripes on them, kind of like okay. a striped bass. Here's another guy. Uh, this yep. Excellent. That was way too early. No, no, it was I fine. Like that. I don't like that early business. No, that's alright. Uh, blue neon guppies. Looking good. Mono shrimp. These guys came in really big this week for mono shrimp and uh, look really healthy too. Super active, so that's good. Rummino's Tetris. I promise they have red nose or red faces. They uh, <laughs> are just stressed out, and that's what happens when they're stressed. They kind of lose it. Really good tight schooler. If you're looking for a nice tight schooler. All right, we got some good old Jack Dempsey's. Old reliable. Oh yeah, people love them. <laughs> they're always asking. Uh, got some more pistogramma then. They've been, uh, it's kind of a bummer. I used to get a lot of pairs of these epistogrammas, but they've been sending mostly males. I know a lot of guys want to try to breed these. But oh, okay. Yeah, I usually see them listed as pairs. Yeah, but... um, so mostly males, but it looks like there might be one female there. Um, but yeah, good looking fish. Penguin Tetris, also called the Hockey Stick Tetra. Oh yeah, that I black see it. Looks oh, like I see it. Yeah. Fun. Uh, I've never heard them called that, but that's what they say online. <laughs> okay. Um, next up, we got some zigzag eels. Looking cool. Technically not eels, but uh, we'll keep calling them that because they have fins. If they didn't have fins, they'd be uh, true eels, but oh, okay. they have little fins behind their eels. 
fakers. Yeah, they're fakers. As most freshwater eels are. Uh, assassin snails getting ready to uh, do their job. Still a ton of these. Customers love them. They, they do a great job. <laughs> Got an infestation, you know. Threw some in our uh, discus tank, and they took care of. Oh, okay. Week. Three of them, and a 125 took care of for the week. Nice. Uh, zebra eels, really cool looking. They kind of—they're not going to show right now because they're stressed. But they kind of get like a, almost like a bluish tint to those stripes. It's really cool looking. Okay. Um, yeah, it's fun fish. Fun eel. Fun eel fish. a gold nugget plucko, L018, I believe. It's not on here, so I'm going off memory. Uh, yeah, really cool fish, really good uh, flashy boy. Yeah, Sell a lot of these guys. Snappy. The fish are cooperating today with the... Uh, they really are. Good old, good old uh, cardinals, just getting a restock up on them. Box is down, two to go. Good thing. Alright. First up, good old black belt cichlids. Uh, <laughs> I accidentally ordered these again. <laughs> we already had a dozen, but that's yeah, okay. I thought we had a bunch. Yeah, but um, what's a few more? You yeah, know, exactly. They'll be all right. They actually, came in bigger. So. Cool, man. Uh, Harley Quinn Rasboras. Great. They actually look pretty good on the bag right here. But nice, colorful orange and purple tones to the body. So keep them in my shrimp tank, and they don't lug the shrimp. So Good for some shrimp companions. Uh, Leopardanios, just, you know, classic, very popular, looking for an active fish, hardy fish. These are your guys. Hmm. Got some little, little itty bitty clown knives. So. Oh, yeah. There we go. All three of them. All pretty much look the same. <laughs> Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> Cherry barbs. Looks like there's a few males in there. They're stressed out, but some are looking a little more red than others. Long fin white clouds. Uh, customer wanted about a dozen of these, so I ordered 25, and you know, figured I'd let some other customers take them. Not the cheapest little buggers, but uh, you breed them for me, which they are very easy to breed. Nice little. Can't even business with you, for sure. <laughs> um, green neon tetras, looking good. Actually, came in pretty big for neon tetras, or green neon tetras, I said. So, yeah. And one box left. Things looking pretty sweet. Yeah, it's They're, actually uh, wanna... my dad's Christmas gift that came kind of oh, Nice! Saying it. <laughs> uh, my favorite Tetra, gold Tetras. It does not show up on video, but they. <laughs> I mean, you can see it, right? Yeah, they, I like, can see it. They look. It doesn't, the color doesn't yeah, transfer it, on the sensor. Yeah, but... it's, the, the shimmer is like amazing. So really pretty fish, looks great in a planet tank. You need to come in to see it yeah, first hand. Absolutely. <laughs> come on down. Alright, uh, honey grommies, they're all mad. They love stress stripes, but I can see a few males, a few females in there, so that's cool. Uh, Heplochromus flameback, all red flamebacks. Uh, Dominant males in there. Yeah, that guy right there. Yeah, look good. Cool uh, Victorian cichlid. Uh, Otto Cinclus. Always popular. Great uh, utilitarian cleaner. 
Mm-hmm. Always recommend getting a small group of them, though. They don't do good with just one or two. Okay. A lot better More if you're a... in a small group. Uh, Ember Tetris. Looks super see-through right now, but they get a nice orange tone to their body when they're not you know, looking like they are in the bag. <laughs> Classic big fish for a 10 gallon. Out yep. of blue grammies. Fun fish. This one look good. Real nice looking. Two more down, or two more left. We got pygmy quarries. These are huge pygmy quarries. Looking good though. Really big. Probably wild caught since they're this big, but yeah, look really nice. Nice bellies on them. Last but not least, uh, Lion Cave, Sino Tilapia Lion Cave. Good. Cool Mabuna, a little different. Uh, they're not showing it right now because they're stressed, but yellow yellow fins, bluish body, really cool looking fish. This guy's kind of showing a little bit, but yeah, really different. Not your pet smart variety uh, Mabuna. So. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we actually have some more fish coming tomorrow, so I don't know if we'll make two videos Ooh. or make it into one, but. We'll do two. Why not? Yeah, we two. missed a video, right? Yeah, so we did miss a video. We we'll give you a little video. extra <laughs> bonus. For you. Well, we're right back with uh, some more fish the next day. So, um, today is the 7th. Full on the video, but I told you in the last video. So, first up, we have a. Uh, no, crap. People are going to kill me for this. I forgot the L number. Um, it's a Thrasher Pleco. Ooh. Pretty cool. Cool, like weird, long body. Thrasher. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> uh, get some good old classic albino quarries. I think someone thinks I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old albino air or not albino? Just Damn, air I was on. gonna say. Whoa. Yeah, right. Ooh. <laughs> just a classic. Coming in a little bigger than last week, so or whatever last time I got them. So that's good. Uh, some more of the albinos. And who down here? Uh, what is this? Oh, red, uh, it's a red tail catfish, Asian red tail cat. Oh, that's pretty so, sweet. Yeah, it's something a little different. Pretty fun. Okay, one little box down, three large ones to go. You got some salt water in too. Uh oh. So. Uh oh. <laughs> Six of these, they're just huge pieces of zoas. So, uh, okay. a bunch of different colonies. So, breaking those up in the future. A bunch of those. Uh, we got some clownfish. Cute little guys. There's four of these. These are salt water. Okay. I think most of this bag is salt water. Pepper. Half of it's these huge zoas that I didn't expect to be this big. Um, Seeing some stars down there. Oh, yeah. Got some uh, chocolate chip starfish. Probably the easiest wow. starfish. Yeah, Those pretty cool. Neat. Super easy to keep, too. So, a lot of the starfish are more challenging. I uh, got this in for a customer. If you're watching this, you know who you are. Uh, Whoa. Nice angel. Yep. Emperor Angel. It's like it's got changes like hypnosis. Completely, yeah, completely stripes. different pattern too when they get larger. This is juvenile pattern. Nice. Uh, there's another one. He's oh, he was hanging on the bag. <laughs> that one's got like a little bit of red, and it's oh, no, it's not the red one. There's one here that has red somewhere. Maybe I was just seeing things. I don't know. There's the last one of those. Very cool. That rhymes. Oh. <laughs> That's the one that kind of has a red tint to it. Yeah, it does. Kind of cool. red, like beneath the bumps. Yeah. Whatever you call those things. Alright, those are Zillas. And. 
unicorn tang. So these guys are just kind of a grayish blue, but they get a little unicorn horn when they get a little larger, kind of between their eye and their top fin there. Okay. I think I might have seen some of those snorkeling, maybe. Yeah, I don't know how common yeah. they are. I, mean, I think they're pretty common. They're one of the, they're one of the cheaper tangs. Okay. So. Tang. Tang or surgeon fish? Loved by astronauts everywhere. <laughs> than I usually get, so pretty nice looking. Three of those guys. Uh, and then I got some smaller, uh, they're, they don't, they're not named, but they're oscillators. Some smaller ones of those, so looking good. Should have six of those. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, yes. six of those. Pretty good size Transition. too for peacock bass. Session. Lots of peacock bass there. Uh, next up, oh, I'm really excited about these. I'll take some of these home for myself. Uh, these are the red Venezuelan quarries. They're okay. supposedly like a um, uh, subspecies of like the the bronze quarries. Uh, but they have a nice red kind of tint to them. So huh. pretty cool looking. Nice. Take some home and try to spawn them. Spawn them up. Uh, salt and peppers. No. Nope. All right, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them in the water. There you go. Cool looking guys. Good classic fish. Tire track eels. Looking lively. Looking funky. Yeah, definitely lively. Definitely wanting on the bag. Gold honey grammys. Good, mostly males, which is cool. Usually people want the males because they're nice and bright. But also a pretty fun and easy fish to breed if you ever wanted to breed something. Uh, just a bunch of these guys. Nice looking peacocks. They're calling these sunburst peacocks. Oh, okay. Kind of like eh, dragon bloods ish. Dragon yeah, they kind of do. Yeah, look pretty cool. Two males in there. A lot of females too. And the last time this bag. Every five year old's favorite. Yep. <laughs> Dwarf frogs. Okay, one box left. That's not the original. <laughs> what are you doing over there? What are you doing? Be taking anything off the shelves. Is he, is he a pretty happy kid? Yeah. Lucky you. If he's not happy, we beat it out of him. <laughs> All right. Last box here. Uh, first up, oh, that is a really good size one. Blue, blue phantom pleco. Looking really good. Nice. My buddy Isaiah, who I kind of got it for. Should be happy about that. I keep selling them out from under him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, lost uh, Texas, but all the rest are looking good. Happens sometimes. Here's some more of the silver arowanas. Another small one. Two. I think we got three of these. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let me zoom there. Uh, yeah, these came in a lot bigger, so. Which is good. Easier to take care of. Right. Less finicky. Yep. Uh, there's another one of the uh, Asian red tails. Just kind of gray and boring looking in the bag, but color up nice. <laughs> Devil thorn snails. Oh yeah, pretty fun. Excited about 
this. in here, but brown ghost knife, pretty cool fish. You probably beat up on the other ones. Oh. Okay. Not a fish that I would ship like that, <laughs> to be honest. But hey. uh, we got some more Texas cichlids. The only uh, cichlid native to the United States. Uh, tiny. That's all right. These are. Uh, Red pen rainbows. It looks oh, like okay. mostly females or maybe some young males, but the males get these super small long fins and they they like dance them and flex them. It's really cool to watch. I had them in college and they were really fun. Really small mouths too, so you can keep them with like shrimp and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, ornate Fleischer. Oh, there he is. A little tiny. Oh, there he is. He's a small one. Trying to get out of that corner. But... Probably my favorite Fleischer. Uh, some good old spotted, uh, spotted people set up tons of tanks just for these guys. They were one of the few brackish water fish I saw in the store. So, pretty cool. Uh, head and tail light. The uh, old guys will be happy about these. They won't be watching these videos, but the 60 somethings, they always come in asking for these. So, <laughs> 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 really, uh, pretty. Nothing too crazy. I get like a light, super bright thing on their tail and their eyes pretty bright, but uh, not a very showy fish, but the old people like them. Old classic fish. Uh, Petrocolas, really cool little guys. Getting a really good price on these too, so usually these cost about 15, sometimes 20 bucks retail, but selling them for 10 bucks, so. Nice. Texas. Once you've seen them all, you kind of. And then uh, some more salt and pepper doors. Nice. There you are. Cool, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, got some plants coming in too, so if you're looking for plants, they'll be here. Probably by the time you watch this video. Oh, good, good stuff. Take care. All right. I don't know. What are you doing over here? I just got something. <laughs>